What is up, Goodman Nation? We are going to go over to, I don't know what this one's called. I mean, we haven't made up a name for it. We have the two Bessemer houses, which I haven't even shown you guys what's going on over there. I've explained to you the chagrin and the uh, the problems happening. But I haven't explained to you what's going on, or what, what or I haven't shown you what's happening. It's okay, though. We, we might go, I'm, I don't really want to go over there today. I try never to work on Saturdays and try to be at home all day. Um, but when you're trying to flip a house by yourself, you have to sacrifice your Saturdays, which is why I'm going to go work there. Because, again, this is supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be something where it shows you guys you can do it, but there are sacrifices that have to be made. Family has to be sacrificed, things like that. And either you can do it or you can't. And I understand if you can't because sometimes I can't. I, I don't want to be not around my kids. I don't want to not be around my wife. Um, I love being home. I love being here doing yard work or hanging out with them and playing, getting on the floor and crawling around with my son um, and getting beaten up by my little daughter. And yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun to be at home. But if you're going to do this kind of stuff, you're going to do it by yourself. you got to be able to sacrifice a Saturday or two. I will show you guys how to do this without sacrificing a Sunday because we're not working tomorrow. Um, and I really, really try not to work on a Sunday. Um, that is a rest day. You need to rest at least one day a week. Sunday's a great day, and you should go to church too. So um, today we're going to head over there. We're going to start with just getting all the sheetrock removed that needs to be removed or scuffing down, or sorry, uh, not scraping or scuffing, but figuring out what we need. I know we need some spackle from Home Depot. We're probably gonna need some 45 minute mud. We're gonna need a patch or two, like those little things. So we're gonna go get all that stuff. Um, but first we need to get everything removed that we need to remove so we can see what, what all is gonna happen. So um, the bigger thing is gonna be that, that uh, laundry room. There's gonna be a lot of work that needs to be done in there. So what I'm gonna do is get everything else done around the house, make sure I know where every other little thing is that I need to fix, uh, where that all is, and then I'm going to move on to getting that laundry room pulled out, put new sheetrock on, figure out what I need to buy um, to really make this thing work. So we're gonna get into all that and remove all those nasty, you know, whatever, the old uh, telephone wires and stuff. I mean, it's just stupidity around the house it's just how it is um, so we're gonna remove all that kind of stuff and then we'll know what kind of paint we need to get I'll get like all the color samples of the paint I'll take those probably over tomorrow to Home Depot and then um, and get the color match as best I can also I would suggest stop color matching with Home Depot they never get it right uh, Lowe's doesn't either so um, I would suggest just going there and figuring it out as close as you possibly can for yourself I've done that now like three or four times and it actually works out a lot better than going there and trying to get them to color match. It's always darker whenever they color match it. And people will say, yeah, because your paint has faded, but I don't care. I want the paint to match my paint that's faded. So why would I want the darker one? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're gonna go do, start all these processes up. When I get to the house, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing, set up the camera and we'll watch and we'll have a fun day. So uh, happy Saturday. You're probably watching this on a, on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Thursday. Um, so whatever. Anyway, let's get up to it and I will see you at the house. And look at that, I got my microphone back. I love it. Okay, so we're in the house. Got the floors done yesterday, we all know that. So we're gonna go through now and get all the lights on in here. No lights in the living room. I gotta make sure I flush that toilet. It's nasty in there. Um, get all these lights on and we'll go through each room and kind of look at all the things that we need to get done. Okay, so let's start in the front, or sorry, I guess the back. Let's start in the back where we have the laundry room, kitchen, and this little main area, okay? So um, let me get this turned on. All right, perfect. So in here, we're gonna this will be this room will be done last, but I'm just gonna start with it first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that corner. I'm gonna see what's behind all this. Um, pull those two guys off the wall just so we can see everything going on back there and then make an assessment. I have sheetrock that was here already, so maybe have to redo this whole area. That's okay if we have to. Um, the rest of it I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna touch like that stuff down there below. We already got the quarter in there, so everything else in this room seems pretty okay and fine. We've got some cracks. Uh, we got this guy right here. We got some cracks right there, so I'll probably go ahead and mud that thing. 
I'm not sure what that is. I think that's like a some kind of vent downside. Doesn't matter. All right, and then in this little landing room, the only thing that I have seen, because it's all wood anyway, it's this little spot. So we're just going to slap some spackle over that, maybe some mud, just get a little bit of tape. Um, what's it called? I, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the, the mesh tape and put it on there. In the kitchen, there's spots above the door. So there's a couple of spots. Spackle, that will be mud for the other stuff. So that's nothing big. This door has nothing. This former door casing has nothing. So that would be the only thing I'll probably do in here. Might do something with like that little part of the trim down there, um, but that's it for the kitchen. Now in this room, the living room, we've got, um, so anywhere where I see like these uh, places where they used to have the blinds, we're gonna take those off, mud over them just so it looks a lot nicer. The only issue is that these blinds are here and I don't want to take them down at this point. So we're going to make sure that all this stuff on the side is done. But those I'll probably leave. And I might actually leave them until... Because um, I can take this guy off. So this guy can come off. I can paint on that. But these two guys, I'll probably just leave them that way. And at the end of the process, if the guy who's going to buy it wants it taken out and fixed, we'll fix it and that's okay. We're going to get all of the electrical plates off. Um, just so that we can make sure nothing is being like pulling the paint away from the wall. Um, we've got a couple places here. Uh, just spackle, take out these screws, spackle these places. Um, and again, oh, and then this guy. Take the, these are the things that like, okay. Big tip, a lot of, a lot of people, when you have and you hire them, they're not going to take out things like that, okay? They're going to paint over it. They're gonna leave it. It's the same thing on the baseboards. Let me see, one of these rooms will have it. Um, Cause I took it out in the other room. Okay, so there used to be one here. So see this wire? So there used to be like a little box there more than likely. And what that box was is for when there used to be um, telephones and stuff in here or when uh, DSL, uh, you know, your your new internet, when, when CERT, when, and what it was it called? I can't remember what kind of internet it's called. Um, your high speed internet, whatever. When it first started coming out, you had those little boxes in each room, okay? So those stay, they always stay. Guys never will come in and actually take them out, which is a problem to me. So anyway, just letting you know that. Make sure that you uh, deal with that kind of stuff. So anyway, so this guy will come out. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. Normally we would worry about this kind of thing. I get like Mar Martin or Roberto to cover this up, make it look nicer. Again, I don't care about that. We're not gonna deal with that. Ceiling looks fine in this room, and that kind of takes care of it. This is the um, thermostat, which is dead. That's great. Oh, no, because I turned, I turned off the system, um, which is a good thing. I think it was on heat, which is also good because that means it didn't turn on. All right, going into the, the, the what's it called? The hallway. We've got like one spot here, but I'm probably just gonna leave that again. I might just paint over it. I've gotta get three different paints. It's this like weird, nasty gray color, or gray, um, yellowish color, brown, this red color, and then white. So uh, three colors I gotta get, but we're pretty much just gonna, I'm gonna spot paint a lot of this stuff in here. Uh, nothing really to write home about. In this area, we have this guy, and we have this guy. Okay, the doorbell, the old doorbell, and I'll probably just leave those two things in because those really, I mean, we can take them out, but it's a lot more, lot more trouble to take those guys out than this is just take stuff that's like on the wall or in the baseboard. Okay, in the bathroom, we have the red color again. Um, it's like there's some kind of like heat smell in here, and I, I think it's just from the attic, but it's okay. Anyway, so the one thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna take out all this caulk, and we're gonna put a new caulk in here, and I'm gonna steam clean this whole thing, and then re-caulk down below on the floor there. We're leaving this guy, This I like this a lot. We're leaving everything else in here, uh, I'm not touching anything, I'm just gonna steam clean it all, make it look really nice, and then call it a day at that, and then there's that little crack right there, we'll re-caulk that, and then that bathroom will be done, put some nice, um, light bulbs in there, repaint some on the top, everything was done, and then we won't have to worry about it anymore. In the closet, 
You got the AT, A, ADT. I normally would take that out. Again, I don't really care about that anymore. Actually, I might because this thing is loose. So I might just take it out, cut it here, take that thing out, and I probably won't even paint. Okay, so then we got this room, which has a couple of holes, nail holes that used to be there. We'll spackle over that. We'll get a white paint that's kind of close to this. It's got a little, little splotch right here you guys probably can't see on the camera. Um, obviously, all of the um, power outlets and covers are coming out. This room is probably the worst when it comes to the, the floors. So this is gonna be a nice scuffing job I'm gonna have to do because for some reason they decided they wanna just throw the paint all over the floors. But we got, like I said, we got a lot of the, the holes here. We've got the hole there. We've got the ADT or at and t thing there that's just been painted over already, which I'll probably take out. You have what used to be, they used to have a uh, window unit or a um, through the wall unit right there because you can see the, um, the plug. So I'll probably take all that out, put a cap on it. This is the bigger thing that we have. So we have this area, which is roof damage. I'm gonna take this down, see how big that hole with the paper, I love the paper towels right there. Um, see how big that is. If it's not too big, we're just gonna go ahead, put a little patch over it, uh, mud over that, not really worry about it. Um, it would be great, get that done quickly. In the closet, so we have this, we have like a, a piece of paneling, and I'm probably just gonna leave that because again, the closets, I don't really care about. I'm not sitting here trying to make a closet look great um, or anything like that. So, I mean, like I said, the house isn't that big. The house is pretty small. So we're going to get on all this stuff. I'm going to start with the smaller things, which is just getting, um, kind of going through and getting all of these guys, like the things off the windows off, getting all the screws out of the walls, all the nails out of the walls, pulling down. The stuff like in that bedroom to see exactly what I need to fix it. Then we're gonna open up that wall in the um, in the what's it called the laundry room to get that figured out and see what we need to do. And then we'll move on from there. So I'll bring you guys back once I get most of the stuff done. And we'll probably be in the laundry room at that point. Okay, so I'll see you then. up this <laughs> there are two dead roaches just sitting here oh my gosh let's get you up oh nasty get you out oh it's just like crumbling apart oh my gosh all right that's great anyway keep going with this <laughs> so we're going to expose what is looks like up here the roof itself looks the roof itself looks fine right now. So I, I have to get up there on top and actually look, and I hate doing roof work. That's why I get Roberto to do it. But remember, this house is explaining that we can always do things on our own. We don't have to hire people. It's just gonna take a lot more time and effort. All right, let's see here. Interesting we use packing tape. Trying not to rip all of this paint off of here. You know, it pretty much is probably going to rip off of here. The less amount of paint I rip off, the better. So let's try to keep it classy, y'all. Oh no, it's black mold! No, it's not. It's just called water spots. Happens all the time. Not everything is black mold, folks. <laughs> Goes to the hospital later with black mold. Um, anyway. Right, let's take all this down. Okay. So, all of this for this little teeny hole. Um, it's actually not bad, this isn't wet. We've had rain um, in the past couple days. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna cut around this thing. This is actually the smallest problem. I thought it was gonna be one of the biggest, but I'll cut around this. We'll mud over this whole area, um, put a little bit of uh, tape across that. Won't even have to buy a patch, but just go ahead and mud this whole thing up. So it'll look really like it will, it'll look better than it does now, obviously, but not the best. But that's actually not that bad. I mean, we're, we're sitting here thinking, I'm thinking it's a huge hole right here. Um, so again, we'll also know once we put mud up there, it was still leaking. Um, we actually had rain yesterday and that is dry as a bone. The napkin is dry as a bone. And so I'm gonna say 
that we're good to go on that one. So anyway, let's get to the lunch. Everything else is done. I got tons and tons. Uh, so we got that guy off. There's one up here that I totally didn't see. Um, all the things around all the windows, all of the um, electrical plates and stuff are off. The only thing we have left to do is to get the ones or to cut this wall open in the laundry room. So there she is. I'm going to cut right there in the, in the corner and take that part off. So I'm going to get all those things uh, unhooked right now. And then I'm going to go grab my uh, buzzer or the whatever it's called. Um, multi-tool and get that buzzed in the corner and then see what's behind it and then figure out what we need to do. Like I said, I got pieces of sheetrock in there. I got one, it's like a three eighths piece and or a fourth piece, I can't remember. One quarter piece, I don't know. Quarter inch thickness or three eighths and then we have a half inch in there too. So we're gonna cut this open, we're gonna see what we need to do and then we will do accordingly what needs to be done. So anyway, I will be right back and uh, we'll get this thing cut open. Whew. All right, so we're gonna get this thing cut. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this area, this middle, this midline here, and then we'll unscrew all this stuff, and we'll see what we got. Kids, whenever you watch this and think your dad's a loser because he was on YouTube, remember to wear ear protection and eye protection. Don't be like me. Listen to your grandfather. <laughs> Wow, we are way off of, I'm just trying not to cut too much onto this side, but I'm cutting way too much. Of... All right, that's done. Let's get the the drill. So we got the new piece in. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, nothing to write home about. Pretty horrible job. I don't have any sheetrock screws on me, but I got some sheetrock screws and the old uh, plastic thing that was on here. So I'm just gonna slap those things on and then we're gonna be done with this one so I can get this thing mudded, get it ready to go. Um, and then we're gonna head over to Home Depot, the warehouse first, then Home Depot, get all the supplies I need to be able to get this done and then everything else done in these rooms. So, uh, you know, it's not gonna, they're not gonna be dry by the time I'm done. Uh, but what I'll probably do is do 20 minute mud. I guess I could do five, but I'm probably just gonna do 20. 20 minute mud just to make sure that I can, you know, we got everything nice and mudded up. And then, um, and then probably in that corner, believe it or not, I'm probably just gonna put foam there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, whatever, anyway. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get everything mudded first. Hopefully it will dry by the time I'm done spackling everything. And then I can come back through and, uh, and get everything sanded maybe one time. Um, or not get everything sanded, but get another layer of mud on there. I'll probably just go ahead and put another layer of mud no matter what. Another layer of mud, just so I can have two. Come back sand it on Monday. And then I'll be able, I'll be ready for painting and all that good stuff. Um, and the rest of the house should be done too. So let me go get some screws in this thing and then I'm gonna head over to Home Depot and then I'll be back. Well, this is good. So we're running out of battery power. So I'm gonna get everything spackled. I'm back from the, from the hospital. I'm back from Home Depot. 
Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get every single thing spackled in here. I'll kind of bring you guys back just for the, the sheet rocking portion. Got the water on, so we're good to go in here and uh, I'll get going and I'll bring you guys back. So I don't have a whole lot of battery time left, but let's get into what happened. All the stuff that's done, let's go. So number one, we got the, dude, after I started, like I really made that mud way too soupy. Now I have to come in here and like actually clean all this up, which sucks, but whatever, it's fine. It's a lot of water, a lot of scrubbing. So uh, not the best job, obviously, but enough job to get this thing done. Like we're just trying to rush to get the stuff done. And again, I'm trying to be like, hey, if you're by yourself, you can do this. So you're not gonna be sitting here making everything like super duper perfect. You might, um, but then you might have problems. That hole is done. All the spackling is done. We've already done that. I can show you guys up there. That's spackling, that's spackling all done. Um, just cleaned up all the spackling done there. I put some, I had some spackle down below there, but I put some mud on that too. Uh, caulked into that corner, I'm gonna have to buzz around there on when I get back over here on Monday. Where does this come from? Oh, it's a piece of plywood, sheetrock, that's why. Okay, coming into the bedroom. So that down there, I missed that hole originally, but I got that filled, so that's done. This big, huge spot on the ceiling is now done. I put, I let it dry a little bit, put another coat on it with the all-purpose. I actually literally ran out of the five-minute mud, had to go outside and in the trash that, of the people that lived here, they had some all-purpose mud that I used um, and got the job done. So then around the window, there was a crack around the window there, so I put all the caulk in where it needed to go. Caulked up some of the trim, uh, spackled all that, spackled all the top stuff, so it looks a lot better. It's really funny how just like a small amount of like holes can really cause a house to look pretty horrible. So anyway, all of that is done. We're gonna let it dry. Monday, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna buzz some of that foam, make sure everything is ready to go for painting. Outside, there are some gallons of paint just sitting out there. So I'm gonna see if they are the same color as what's in here already, which would be great. Then I don't have to worry about color matching or anything like that. Um, and I'd really, I'd be super happy about that. So we will see about that, what's going on. I got a huge mess. Um, behind me and inside the other rooms. I gotta clean that up on Monday as well. I'm gonna get all the lights turned off. But everything today, so today, well, like I said, was just the spackling, patching, some caulking, getting the stuff off the walls, getting everything ready for some paint to be thrown on the walls. So I'll throw the paint on the walls on Monday. More than likely, I'll have a couple other things to do. And then I'm also gonna switch out all of the plugs and the light switches and all that other good stuff. So anyway, this has been Goodman. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys when I get back here and you guys can be flipping houses by yourself too, maybe. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. See you in the next one, bye-bye. This is Goodman, back with another Stop, get